Hi everyone! My name is Wenling and I'll be taking you guys through a very short sequence incorporating some yoga and also breathing techniques or pranayama to prepare yourself for a good night's rest to combat insomnia. We begin in a comfortable seated position. You can choose cross leg position or lotus pose. And we'll start off with Migi Mudra or the Deer Seal. So we place the index fingers and the third finger together in the center of the palm. And what we'll do is we'll place, place the thumb on the right nostril. And we start breathing in and out through the left nostril. So the left side of the body is actually believed to be calming side of the body or the yin side, the moon side. So here, very gently, we will start inhaling first. And we exhale fully, placing the thumb on the right nostril. Then we begin to inhale. And exhale fully. Again, inhaling deeply, fully. And exhale. Let's do this a couple more times. Inhaling deeply through the nostril. See if you can feel the breath entering the nostril. And exhaling fully. Just three more times. Inhaling deeply. Seeing if you can visualize the breath entering your nostril. Exhaling fully. Just two more times. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully. One last time. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling fully. Feel free to repeat this as many times as you like. Now we'll move on to the next pose, which is child's pose. So we begin with our, our knees together, and just sitting right on top of where our heels are. And then we'll just allow the forehead to rest on top of, of the uh, of the bed and the palms just place them at the side we'll stay here for a couple of deep breaths with each inhalation breathing in deeply through the nose remembering that cooling sensation and with each exhale see if you can find the root of where you breathe from so just coming to child's pose Remembering to breathe in deeply from the nostrils, from the breath. And with each exhale, see if you can soften through the skin. Just allow the hips to melt closer to your heels. The head to be heavy. The shoulders to descend closer to the bed. With each inhalation, see if you can find a little bit more space and allow that breath to enter that space and with each exhale see if you can descend a little bit more just one more breath here slowly spreading your palms out in front of you pressing down firmly through the palms we come up back into a seated position and now we'll enter the last part of today's sequence, Viparita Karani. So it's called legs up against the wall. It's a really nice pose to come and end off the night. So we'll start with actually um, our hips close towards the wall. So if you're quite far from the wall, that's okay as well. You start turning to allow your back completely to rest against the bed. And then just start to walk the hips close to the edge of the wall. And then very slowly, keeping the knees bent, you can straighten the legs up, either against the wall or up towards the ceiling in this case. And just placing the palms either in cactus arms or at the side of the body. And just laying here, breathing in deeply through the nose and exhaling again fully. You can gently close your eyes if you like. Just feeling the sensation of the body unwinding. Resting and restoring. 
If the pose gets a little bit too intense, you can keep a soft bend in the knees. And just relax and restore here with each inhalation and exhalation. See if you can find a little bit more space and breathe into that space and soften through the skin. Staying here for as long as you like. And when you're ready, just bending through the knees, rolling over to the right side. Staying here for a couple of deep breaths. You can allow your right arm to form a pillow for your head to rest on. Just allowing the heart to beat freely on the left side, the left nostril, the channel. Accessing your breath. Every inhalation taking in life and every exhalation sending out life and breath to the world around you. And when you're ready, just coming up and making your way into a resting position. Lying down in preparing for Savasana. Or whatever comfortable position you'd like to prepare for your sleep. Just lying fully and completely on the bed, just staying here. If you like to, you can place one heart, one palm on your heart, the other palm on the belly. And just staying here, observing each inhalation. Belly rises, ribcage follows, and with each exhale, the belly slowly deflates like a balloon. Start to relax through the heels arches of your feet, the balls of the feet, the toes, every single one of them, the ankles, your calves, your shin bones, your knees, the hamstrings, quadricep muscles, the gluteus muscles, muscles that wrap around your thigh, around your buttocks. Allow your pelvic bone to just melt into the bed. Allow the spine to be soft yet supported. The ribcage to be fluid. You can start to gently release the arms by the side of your body. Softening the shoulders, the shoulder blades to gently descend. The arms, the elbows, forearms, the fingertips to release control, the neck and the skull to weigh heavily and to melt into the bed, eyes to close, preparing for rest and rejuvenation, nowhere else to be but here nothing else to do but rest in your body being here now allowing yourself the permission and the gift of rest Uh, come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and that it's helpful for you to have a good night's rest. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and follow and share it with all your friends. Have a great rest.